We made a lot of mistakes while playing Diablo Immortal, and today in this video I'm going to talk to you about the top 10 things that you should not do when playing Diablo Immortal. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Nemo, and today I have my friend Echo Gaming here with us. And of course, we're coming back to you with episode two of a beginner guide. That's right, and today we're going to talk to you about the top 10 things that you should not do when playing Diablo Immortal. Echo, how's it going, my friend? I'm doing great, man. I'm loving this series so far. We're able to bring everyone that's new to the game into the light so they have a better direction when they come in and we've made mistakes along the way nemo as has everyone that was in the alphas and betas and what the best thing that we could do as creators is share from our experiences our mistakes so others don't make the same ones agreed agreed and of course these mistakes coming from us and from our community the scrappy echoes got together and of course made another list for you so this is going to be a collective from everyone I'm really excited about it so let's get right into tip number one so tip number one, never skip those blue exclamation marks. A lot of the times when I was running around and doing a main mission, I would notice the exclamation mark and I would just skip it and run and do my thing. It is very important, especially if you're like auto running to a place to stop and do those little quests because they're really small and they do provide you lots of XP and a lot of gear. It's really easy to do and it gives you those upgrade gear things that you need for later. Never skip the blue exclamation marks, always stop and always do those. That's my tip number one for you. And Echo, why don't you jump into tip number two? All right, Nemo. So on my first playthrough, I never upgraded my gear. I was the demon hunter and I just never upgraded. I just worried about my levels. So there's a few things I want to unpack here. First of all, if you don't have legendary gear, it's not important. You don't need to focus on what it is. Just kind of put the highest level of each spot in and you'll be in the best hands. But also you're going to get some legendary gear with skills that you love. And what I did was I would hoard those ones and store them away because I didn't want to lose those skills. And sometimes the legendary gear was a lower level than higher level legendary gear that I got. But I learned that you can go to the essence transfer vendor. You could remove the skill that you love and then you could infuse it into a higher level piece of legendary gear. So you don't need to hoard and hold on to and take up slots for legendary gear that you have just because you want to save the skill you could actually just go to the essence transfer vendor and you could save the skill itself and put it into a higher level piece of legendary gear that's a solid tip i did the exact same thing echo that was that was painful i mean nemo you're the one that uh, that taught me about that so uh, i should be thanking you <laughs> hey so man it's all good <laughs> now i'm gonna jump right into tip number three and this is a really important one i made this mistake so you get hilt. Whenever you're doing things in the game, you get these things called hilt. And then there's a vendor, a hilt vendor that you can go into and buy things. And this vendor has a lots of shiny, beautiful things that you can get. He has legendary gear. He has, you know, all of the all of the crests that you would need. It has even has legendary gems that you could possibly get, but you have to spend these hilts. And it's very important. The most important thing to do is not spend the hilts on anything else except for your crests, your rare legendary crests, and possibly your gems. Do not buy your scrap materials or your legendary gear with it because all of that stuff is farmable and you'll be able to get it later in the game by just doing stuff. You will not be able to get your rare legendary crests and your, of course, your gems. So the most important thing to do is to save all of your hilts, do not spend even one on anything except for your rare legendary crests or your legendary gems if you like. Really important. That's a great tip, Nemo. And, you know, if you can get it for free from grinding, why go buy it? You better just go buy the things that are much more difficult to grab. So great tip. I'm going to jump right into the fourth one right now, which is about rushing experience. We all want to get as high level as quickly as we can, but there are right ways to do this and wrong ways to do this. Now, you want to focus on rifts and on dungeons because along with your XP leveling high, you also want to level up your gear slots as well. I mentioned in tip number two that your gear level, if it's not high enough, you're going to really be in a bad position. You're not going to be as strong as you want to be. XP is not it's not everything because low gear high XP is bad that's right that's actually what happened to me echo I went through I ran and ran did the whole story did all the missions and just I did the dungeon once and just continue it 
and and that's the biggest mistake you can make like you said if your gear levels are low you're gonna eventually run into a wall and you're gonna get smacked by a boss by a higher level you're just not gonna be able to play as smoothly most important thing is to keep your your line as smooth as possible between all of the upgrade systems that's really smart echo nice i like it and tip number five the last one before we get into the bonus tips do not forget to do your challenge rifts specifically the single player challenge rifts a lot of the times people jump in and they'll get in with their friends and they'll try to get on the leaderboards and they'll get the three the fours or the you know the duo leaderboards but they'll never do their own single challenge rifts whenever you do those every time you beat a level for the first time you get a lot of rewards and those rewards are good because slowly you just keep doing them and you'll pile them up and you get to level 70 and 80 challenge drift and eventually you'll get really good rewards so besides being on the leaderboards besides getting your weekly challenge drift rewards you also get them every time you beat a new level so think of a challenge drift as a, a good way to sort of like benchmark your own build if you're playing and you can go do a challenge drift 87 you're good next day if you can't do an 88 you have to upgrade your gear slots a little bit you have to get an, an, another level or so you got to get your xp up and come back and try to do that little rift but do not forget to do your challenge rifts they're super important you know that's a great one nemo and i have some bonus tips but everyone's probably saying right now this is a top 10 list why are they at number five and then getting into the bonuses and that's because the other five are over on my channel nemo and i recorded just before this video there's another five tips or five mistakes that you're not going to want to make over on my channel which is echo gaming diablo i'll see you guys over there so will nemo because he's part of the video as well but i mentioned i have a bonus tip for you guys and that's about your gear slots and portaling People say, can you buy more gear slots? Do you run out of space in your bag or are you able to you know, manage it well? Well, this is a great feature inside of the game and that is your, your teleporting or your portal. You could portal back from anywhere, even if you're inside of a dungeon. You could portal, you can go back to your closest home base, you could drop off, you can go to put them in your, in your storage, you can give them to the blacksmith and kind of take them apart empty your bag and then you could portal right back into the dungeon or back to where you were in the campaign and it's just nice and easy way for you to not have to drop resources because i know that i've done it in the past i said oh no my bag is full let me get rid of all my lower level stuff when really you just portal out of there go get rewards from it and then get back into the battle that's solid efficiency i like that and i, I do that all the time very nice yeah. so I'll follow up with the extra bonus tip of my own uh, for this video. So what we got here is it's very important. And a lot of people don't understand this. There's a server paragon level, right? There's a world level and there's a cap to it. So what a lot of people don't understand is if you're below that level, you actually get bonus stuff. You get more uh, materials, you get more XP. You get a lot of stuff that you don't get if you hit that server paragon level. And a lot of new players will try to just hit the level as fast as they can. It may be people that don't even play as much. Maybe people that are super casual or not as uh, not as big of grinders will just try to get to that server paragon level. They don't understand what's going on. But the best thing to do if you don't play as hardcore is to actually keep yourself right below that level. Because if you do that, it's a lot easier to get your gear slots, to get your extra scrap materials, to get more XP without playing more, if that makes any sense. So it's really important if you want to maximize your efficiency without playing a lot, stay below the server paragon level will give you a little bit more and one of the most important things that you should do is follow the discord link down below and join our server the scrappy echoes a big server a clan family lots of stuff i'm sure you've heard about it in the other videos but there's tons of people tons of people already waiting to play with us you can just join the server get in there early make sure you're ready for when this game comes out also remember to subscribe and stay tuned to both me and Echo. We have a lot more videos coming. We have a lot more videos in this series coming. I'm super excited about it. Echo, thanks so much for uh, for coming to the channel. It's always a pleasure, man. I love hanging out with everyone over here in the Scrappy Academy. So thanks for having me. I appreciate it. See you guys in the next video.